as Amy returned from her last trip, Mr. Davis gave a portentous hem and said in his most impressive manner, "'Young ladies, you remember what I said to you a week ago. I'm sorry this has happened, but I never allow my rules to be infringed, and I never break my word. Miss March, hold out your hand.' Amy started and put both hands behind her, turning on him an imploring look which pleaded for her better than the words she could not utter. She was rather a favorite with old Davis, as of course he was called, and it's my private belief that he would have broken his word if the indignation of one irrepressible young lady had not found vent in a hiss.' 